Okay, um, now before we forget any, sorry, before I forget anything, I would like to mention that I missed this part in section 1, part 8, where it says, put this, where it shows you to assemble, how to, uh, sorry, how to assemble the rest of the chess piece, uh, which I'll do right now. This. Hold on. I don't really want to keep this there. Take this. And I think they, this piece goes into these holes right on the sides. Be good. Now the next step is to put Take this lower check. Take this piece, which goes, I think, on this section. Put the number five stickers on it. See, it comes with some stickers, though most of them are water slide decals. I wonder why never. See a lot of model kits come with the water slide decals. Um, maybe that's because Bandai doesn't. You wouldn't think they'd be easier to apply than the dry transfers. Sorry about that. Worst comes to mind, I'll do this off camera. It's kind of hard to apply this on while keeping it. It's pretty thin right there. I'm afraid some of it might break off. I don't really know why this sticker is needed. Alright, if I recall correctly, it's supposed to go somewhere here. Seems to be a slot right here for it. So yeah, it's coming along great. Looks very cool. Now the arm section requires me to open up another baggie. This is probably the inner frame for the arms. Alright. Now the next part. I think it goes like this. I put the poly caps in this way. Hold on. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that's how it is. Now the instructions say to do this twice. I don't really want to repeat this on camera. Try to get this in. Sorry, my mistake. This actually goes. up the other direction. Ugh. Have to take the tweezer out. I really don't like having to disassemble. There's always a chance of leaving stress marks. Okay, uh, this next part might get a bit finicky. I hope not, but I think what you're supposed to do is this piece in this way. I think I suspect this is the shoulder piece. Ugh, shouldn't doubt myself at this point. 
stick the polycap in this way. Wait, I'll show it again. Yeah, I think this is the inner part of the shoulder piece. Well, it doesn't look like, sorry, well, it doesn't look like we'll be getting back to this shoulder piece for a while, so might as well put these someplace safe. Um, the box the Sazabi comes in is always a good idea to keep, keep parts in so you don't lose them. Now, this next step is also something I have to double up on. I think it goes like this. Take this piece, this piece, stick this peg to this hole. And, hmm. Take this piece. Sorry. Stick it onto up here and let's see what's next I have to take three more pieces from the same runner okay now the next thing you want to do is this piece actually these pieces Put this piston together, and now put it up here. Then you assemble it like so. Yeah. Now you do get this nice sliding mechanism. As you can see, making, bending this, I think this will be the elbow, makes this piston slide out. I wonder if I should paint this silver just to show off that sliding mechanism more. Ooh, sorry, I made a mistake here. This should actually be inserted the other way. Sorry, well, at least taking that apart didn't leave any stress marks. And then I put it back together. Yeah, I'm good.